Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. Hope you're having a wonderful day. In this lesson, we want to keep talking about the standard game objects that Unity provides. Now in the last video, we talked about the different 3D game objects. And in this video, we want to talk about the 2D game object, or what's called a sprite. So let's get started. So here we have our tutorial project open inside of Unity. And real quick, I just want to explain what a sprite is. Now a sprite is nothing more than just a simple 2D image. So in video game design, you have things like 3D meshes and 3D objects. You also have 2D sprites or 2D images, which are used to create 2D games. Now to create a sprite or a 2D game object, you can go to the game object drop down menu and then find 2D objects and then sprite. Now this creates a new game object, as you can see within our scene and our hierarchy. And we can give our game object a new name. We'll name it test sprite. Now when you first create a sprite, you'll notice that you can't see anything different when you're just looking at the scene view, other than maybe what looks like an empty game object. So if you have your new sprite game object selected in your hierarchy, it almost looks like there's an empty game object right there. But what's different about this game object than a normal empty game object is that it has what's called a sprite renderer component. This component allows you to assign a 2D image to your game object. And so wherever your game object is, so will that 2D image appear. Now all we have to do is import 2D images that we want to use for our sprites. And so before we import a 2D image, I want to create a location which we can save our 2D images. So I'm going to right click on our assets folder in the project window, go to create and then folder. I'm going to name this folder to be sprites. I'm then going to import the 2D images that I want to use inside my project. So to do this, I'm going to right click on my sprites folder and then select show in Explorer. This will open the assets folder of our project and then I can just double click on our sprites folder. And now any files that I save inside this location will then become imported into Unity. So I have this image here, which is a subscribe button. I can increase the size so you can see it. I also have this green laser. And finally, we have these NES Nintendo character sprites that I thought would be cool to use. So now that we have these files inside this folder, we can go back to Unity. And within Unity, we can see that we now have all the files inside our project window. Now we need to select all these images. And then inside the inspector, change the texture type from default to Sprite 2D and UI, and then we're going to hit Apply. Now there's a lot more options here that we can see in the inspector, but we're going to talk more about these when we cover 2D images as assets in a later video. But the one option that I do want to talk about in this video is how to slice up a 2D image into a sprite sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and select just our NES character sprite sheet. Now because there's three different sprite images on this one sprite sheet, we need to slice up this sprite sheet so that we can access each image. And so to do this, I'm going to go to the sprite mode option in the inspector and select multiple. We then want to hit apply and go into our sprite editor. Now I can click and drag boxes around each one of these sprite images, which will make it so that we can access each one of these individually. Another way that we can slice up this sprite sheet is by selecting the slice drop down menu and then we can either slice by automatic which will detect where each individual image is or we can slice it on a grid by the cell size or the cell count i'm going to just slice it automatically because the unity system is actually fairly good at slicing images to the right size having the pivot as center is fine for this example and the method we can leave as delete existing we can then go ahead and hit slice. Now once you've automatically sliced your sprite sheet, you can readjust each box so that it is exactly what you want it to be. Once you've sliced all your sprites out, we can then go ahead and hit the apply button. And now as I expand our NES sprite sheet, you can see that we can access each individual element or sprite from that sprite sheet. Now that we have all these 2D images imported into our project, we can go ahead and select our test sprite game object. We then want to select whichever sprite we want to use and drag it into the sprite field of the sprite render component. 
Now we can see that there is a 2D sprite of that image inside our scene and game view. I can then change it to any of the other sprites by selecting those sprites and dragging it into the sprite field of the sprite render component. Now thinking back to the 3D game objects where Unity provides us with primitive shapes, all of those primitive shapes are primarily used for placeholders while prototyping your game. But when it comes to 2D game objects such as sprites, we don't have those primitive shapes to use as placeholders. So if we need placeholders to create our 2D game, we can import just images of those primitive shapes such as squares and circles and, and capsules and so on. And then it's up to us to customize that game object with our own imported 2D images and all the components that we need per game object. So that's pretty much everything a 2D sprite game object is. It's essentially an empty game object because before we attached or added a 2D image to our sprite game object, it pretty much looked like an empty game object within our scene. And the only difference between an empty game object and a sprite is that it has a sprite renderer component attached to it. And the sprite render component is what allows you to assign a 2D image to that game object. And then wherever the transform of your game object is, that is where the sprite will appear. Now there's a bunch of other options inside the sprite render component other than assigning a sprite, such as color and flipping the image and material and so on. But we'll talk more about the sprite render component in later videos when we go through all the different components that Unity has to offer. Now that's everything that we wanted to cover in this lesson about 2D images or sprites. You should now know how to create sprites and you also should know about what they are and how they're used inside of Unity. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. Also make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can get regular updates when we publish new videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.